Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Blurry Day back in another video. This is kind of a rant. I don't know. We'll, we'll see where this goes. So, um, I've talked about this in brief moments on my channel, and some of you guys in the comments have argued with me about this, but, like, guys, when it comes to our favorite stuff, especially our favorite franchises, we need to, like, take things with a grain of salt, right? Um, and of course, I'm talking about. Um, take a grain of salt between the MCU and the Marvel Netflix shows. And why do I not consider these shows canon as of right now? You guys gotta remember, these shows were canon to the MCU back in the day until Netflix pulled the plug, right? And maybe most of you guys are still thinking like, oh, since Netflix pulled the plug, like, they're no longer canon, right? Um... I don't know if that still remains the case to this day, even though they, they are on Disney Plus right now. Um, it's just until that we get that Marvel Studios book later this year when um, whatever projects that Kevin confirms that what is canon to the MCU, I'm not going to hold my breath. Like, um, but like I've said, I, I preach this over and over again. If there's only one Marvel Netflix show that I would want canon to the MCU, it's definitely Daredevil. Um, and believe me, guys, believe me, I wanted to believe that um, She-Hulk episode eight, when Daredevil came into the picture, like, like, oh, he confirmed uh, Marvel's Daredevil, Marvel's Defenders, like. It's like, I don't know. But guys, as a fan, it's okay to have doubts, okay? You can't just... You can't just immediately believe this stuff right away, like, as much as I would want it to. But here's the thing. If you're gonna make everything canon, that includes Iron Fist, okay? I love that show. Second best favorite show of mine. <laughs> um, I mean, of course... I don't mind um, debating with you guys in the comments, you know. Um, but please keep it nice. And if you guys are going to have little debates with with each other in the comments, please keep them nice. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to get my hands on some of the Netflix Marvel physical media stuff. Like, you guys know I have most of them. Like I said, if I were to get... Jessica Jones and Luke Cage on Blu-ray. It's only going to be for completionist's sake because these are these are probably going probably probably going to be the last time we're going to see these unless which good news today guys. Um Disney and Marvel announced that finally the first uh Disney Plus Marvel Studios series we're going to get in physical is WandaVision and it's coming out in Steelbook. Now the way I've heard how this is going to turn out is that there are pre-orders going on right now for that steelbook, right? And if that works out, then, then it's going to go... Well, I guess it doesn't matter or not whether how good it looks. Like, I need to pre-order it myself. Um, and, of course, they're going to they're gonna release a standard version of that, like... Okay, but here's the thing. Are you going to be releasing the Disney Plus shows, like, one at a time? Like, why? Why not just release all of them? And of course, there's going to be somebody in the comments say like, oh, well, that's going to be stressful for a lot of MCU collectors because, sure, as much as we, like, we want to get our hands on them, like, it's just going to be stressful trying to buy all of them. I mean, I do hear you guys. Like, I know everyone just wants to pick them up off the shelves, but it depends on the shows, really. Like, I could see a few that people are just not willing to pick up. Like, guys, I still enjoyed Hawkeye, okay? That's one of my favorite... Um, Marvel Disney Plus shows. I'll make sure to definitely pick that up. Um, and I thought that, like, She-Hulk was mediocre. Of course I'm still gonna get it. Like, But like I said, like, as MCU fans, like, we're gonna pick these things up for collection's sake, right? Like, it, it doesn't matter if we like it or not. Like, as long as, like, we're passionate about this stuff, like, we want to have, like, a physical media library of this. And yeah, can you just imagine Lucasfilm coming out with stuff too? Oh man, they're gonna make bank. I feel like 
future Star Wars Disney Plus Blu-rays are going to make more money than the Marvel Studios ones, which I don't blame people because, you know, The Mandalorian is still number one trending on Disney Plus, right? But think of the possibilities here, though, guys. Um, I'm happy that we're finally getting our wishes come true with physical media and Disney Plus. Can you imagine if Bob Iger continued to release the, the Marvel Netflix shows on Blu-ray? Because the only four that we know that so far is you could get the first two seasons of two... I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little congested today. You could get the first two seasons of Daredevil on Blu-ray, season one of Jessica Jones on Blu-ray, and season one of Luke Cage on Blu-ray. Um... And of course, you could get the first season of Iron Fist from uh, Europe, right? Um, I was lucky when I got my DVD copy of Season 3 of Daredevil. I'm still trying to get the DVD copy of The Defenders. And you guys already know I have the complete series of The Punisher. But imagine Bob Iger also announced, let's say like next year, he announces like, oh... You guys still love those Marvel Netflix shows where we're finally going to release all of, like, the rest of them on Blu-ray. Like, oh man, imagine, like, finally, like, can you imagine if he released box sets of this? Like, oh man. Um, who knows if he will want to re-release the previous four versions that we got in the U.S. Like, oh man. Um, I could definitely see there being a complete series of Iron Fist. Or unless if he wants to do them separately. And of course you got The Defenders, which is a limited series. Um, who knows? Maybe he'll want to do like Jessica Jones 2 and 3 separately or in a box set. So on and so forth, right? Like, oh my gosh. How cool would that be? Um, I just thought I would tell you guys that little snippet there like uh hopefully you guys are pre-ordering your wandavision steel books i'll pre-order mine as soon as i can um anyways um like i said i want to believe that the marvel netflix shows are still canon to the mcu but until we get Further confirmation, I'm just not going to hold my breath. Even, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, in this future book that Kevin Feige is going to release, like, oh, they're now canon, so put feel free to put your Marvel Netflix Blu-rays into your MCU collection. Like, I'll, I'll make sure I will, because um, I know season one of Daredevil came first, 2015, so that would have had to come, like, before Age of Ultron, so you guys would have to put season one of Daredevil between Guardians and Age of Ultron. And just another example, I'm not going to, like, talk about each season, like, where you should put them, but you guys can have a good idea, right? Like, um, season one of Jessica Jones came out November 2015, right? So that would have to come after Ant-Man. Um, guys, seriously, it's okay to have doubts when it comes to your favorite franchises, all right? Like, just... But just, just believe in what your gut tells you. Like, this is canon or this is not canon, whatever it is. Because even if Marvel's Daredevil, for example, was still not canon to the MCU, I'm still going to watch this and enjoy this for the rest of my life because oh my gosh game changer guys right it is unfortunate though that we're not going to see foggy and karen page in the first season of born again and they replaced vanessa's original actress with a new one like okay how are they going to explain that is it a multiverse thing? Was it something with the snap? Was it something that Wanda maybe kind of prevented? Like, you know, with Ralph Boner and WandaVision, who was supposed to be Quicksilver, but then, of course, like, Ralph Boner is the joke, right? <laughs> um... <clears throat> I still 
find it cool with the shows, like, how they prefer the Battle of New York from the Avengers, uh, the incident, like, I mean, hey, it works, I mean, every time in Daredevil when I saw, like, there was, like, two pictures from, like, the Incredible Hulk and the Avengers, like, it made me so happy, like, oh, man, I can't believe, like, these were canon back in the day, but if they were part of the official MCU timeline, guys, um, of course, Disney Plus will still keep the the Defenders Saga um, list like separate, right? But they would have to put the shows like in between the movies, right? As far as we know, yes, uh, Marvel's Agent Carter is still like the only um, Marvel television show canon to the MCU. I don't know, like Disney has been hyping up. You know, Secret Invasion, like, oh, you gotta watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., like, are you gonna make that show canon again? I haven't been caught up with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I, I stopped watching that, like, probably, probably five or six years ago. Um, who knows if the other shows are gonna be canon? Freaking, uh, Cloak and Dagger, uh, The Runaways... Inhumans, I actually enjoyed that show. I need to, like, binge watch that show again. Um, it's just, uh, Disney and Marvel Studios, if you want us, the fans, to believe th whatever is canon, then you have to confirm it on the platform, okay? Like, th there was even, <clears throat> last year... <clears throat> there was a trailer for the TV shows, right? Besides the, the Defender Saga, you got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. too. Um, it was th They were mo mostly promoting the Netflix shows. They were like, it's all connected. Like, yes, we get that the, the shows themselves are connected to one another, but you need to be more specific. Like, are they actually connected to the MCU? And still, it is unfortunate that n none of the movies um, didn't, um, you know, recognize the shows, right? Until uh, Spider-Man No Way Home and Hawkeye, right? But again, we're just going to wait and see. Hold our breaths. Uh, take this with a grain of salt. I know with the writer and actor strike that's going on right now, but um, I feel like Heroes for Hire is a passion project for Finn Jones, and I can understand that. Like, if it does not turn out to be a Disney Plus show, who knows, guys? Debate in the comments. Would you rather see it as a movie or still ha have it as a Disney Plus show, like, to expand the the character arcs you know where have luke and danny have been because even in an interview with charlie cox like sure he loves the idea of like spider-man's origin story because that that works in a movie form right but like with daredevil you have to make it a tv series to expand character arcs story arcs whatever like yes that is true but like I believe Daredevil and whatever platform can work in a movie, too. Like, like with Ben Affleck's Daredevil, for example, like, um, I don't believe that's the completed arc for Ben's Daredevil. I feel like when Deadpool 3 comes out, hopefully next year, um, they'll make sure to pick him up, like, hey, do you want to be part of this universe? Like, yeah, frick it, let's go. <laughs> Okay, I think that's pretty much what I have to cover on here. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Please send the post notification button to share my content if you haven't already. And again, just tell me in the comments, guys. Do you still believe that the Marvel Netflix shows are still canon to the MCU or are they not? And are are you like anxious to hear what Kevin Feige has to confirm in the new Marvel Studios book.
I don't know when that's supposed to come out. This fall, right, guys? Um, just keep me posted on that, and then we'll see how that goes. And um, this just makes me so happy to hear that physical media is still going. Like, yes, we are passionate physical media collectors. Um, we love seeing things look nice on our shelves, and oh my gosh. Like I said, I would not be surprised in this book, like, Kevin will announce, like, like if the Netflix shows are canned, but maybe maybe I'll cry because, you know, as a, as a passionate fan of this stuff, you know? Um, again, what just said to Wayne C. So, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for buying me the Lord review. with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out, guys. Remember, Avengers Assemble. All right. You have a good night, guys. Bye.